This video is sponsored by Zoom. Full stock developer, a career, a job, and a passion. If you're a full stock developer, ka, you don't have to worry about your schedule. You can work from anywhere. May enhance your analytical skills mo and yayaman ka. Well, depende yun sa pagandal ng salary mo. But the point is, full stock developer is a good career choice. Ang cool, di ba? But the million dollar question is, how to really become one? When I was in college, specifically nung panahon ng lockdown, I can vividly remember kung gano'ng ko kaya gusto maging full stack developer. I even act na as if part ako ng isang company and I trained my contribution skills by cloning a really big project kahit hindi ko alam yung mga technologies na ginamit. Then I tried to add features tapos tatama rin lang ako. Do you guys relate? My biggest inspiration that time and until now is Joma and actually yung mga una kong videos was inspired by his videos. Ginagaya ko yung setup niya, his humor, his ideas and even his hair. Medyo nagkaroon ako ng konting doubt noon dahil yung mga inspirations ko is yes, degree holder sila while ako computer engineering yung course. Naiisip ko na kung tama ba to, pang computer science yun, eh yung sakin, CPE. And alam naman natin na computer engineering is one of the flexible courses sa field ng IT. Pwede kang maging electronics engineer, embedded systems expert, software engineer, cyber security expert, full stack developer, and the list goes on. Sa computer engineering, konti lang yung mga subjects na align sa full stack development. We have programming logic and design. No doubt, kailangan natin ng foundation sa coding journey natin. Dahil sa una, programming language, framework, libraries, at kahit anong technology pa yan, it doesn't really matter. Just pick one na may knowledge ka, then learn the basics, familiarize the syntax, if you have statements, loops, and many more. Our weapon that time, C++ and Java. Object-oriented programming. This is a fundamental programming paradigm. This makes our code become maintainable, easy to modify, easy to reuse, and easy to understand. The two main concepts here na dapat alam natin is class and objects, and also yung four characteristics or yung pillars nito, which is inheritance, encapsulation, polymorphism, and abstraction. Kung hindi dahil sa subject na to, hindi siguro ako magkakaroon ng interest sa full stack development. I remember noon, my very first pet project na ginawa is a blog site using PHP, HTML, and CSS. Naalala ko pa that time, sobrang saya ko nung na-deploy ko siya sa internet. Old school pa kasi yung gamit noon and wala pa akong idea sa JavaScript. That time is yung kasagsagan as in ng lockdown, like bawal talagang lumabas. So yung time ko doon lang talaga na-spend and I really enjoy doing it. So sabi ko sa sarili ko, eto na yung karir na gusto ko. So nag-research ako ng mga careers na pwede kong i-pursue. Then I found full stack developer. But as the day goes by, habang dumadami yung nakikita kong mga technologies, doon ako sobrang na-confuse. Like, ano ba yung JavaScript? Ano ba yung React? Ano ba yung Bootstrap? And na-realize ko na sobrang dami ko palang kailangan pag-aralan. I cannot blame my course kasi it is computer engineering. And even yung mga software-oriented na course like computer science, sobrang daming hindi natuturo. Dahil technology is rapidly evolving. So, kailangan pa rin natin maging updated and aralin yung mga ganun na bagay. Let's talk about the ways to learn full stack development. Number one, self-taught. Ito yung path na tinahak ko and I can say na ito yung pinakamahirap for reasons like no one will motivate you kasi it all depends sa sarili mo. Kapag tinatamad ka mag-aral, hindi ka matututo. Resources are limited. Nung nag-aaral ako mag-code, ang kasama ko lang is YouTube, Google, and Stack Overflow. That time, YouTube was my best friend. Nanonood ako ng sobrang madaming tutorials. Kaya ang naging result, wala akong naging iisang direction talaga. Patalon-talon ako from one technology to another, one programming to another, and framework to framework. Number two is online course. Unlike self-taught online course is meron kang sinusundang pattern. If may specific kang gusto pag-aralan, magkakaroon ka ng mga lessons na yung mga magagamit mo lang. But the biggest downside nito is pre-recorded lahat. Kung may hindi ka get sa part, ang magagawa mo lang is to rewatch it many times and try your best to understand it. Wala kang pwedeng pagtanungan. Number three is coding bootcamp. Ito yung I think pinakagusto kong way sa lahat kasi it offers training talaga. You have schedule so matututo kang maging disciplined and factual. Live session siya so kung may hindi ka maintindihan na part, pwede kang mag-ask ng unlimited questions. Many YouTubers talk about this. Online coding 
boot camp. Joining a coding boot camp. Coding boot camp. Coding boot camp. Coding boot camp. I would go six months to a boot camp and then get a job and for the next three, three and a half years work as an engineer, even if it's entry level. In those next three plus years that you're working as an engineer, you are going to learn a lot more. And kung makakapag start lang ako ulit, I would definitely go in this route to save me hundreds of hours sa mga hindi ko naman talaga kailangan para maging full stack developer. And what I recommend the coding bootcamp dito sa Philippines is do it. For transparency, this video is sponsored by them. Pero if you search for the best coding bootcamp in the Philippines, sila yung top. And they have this program called the Developer Career Program, which includes three sub-courses, front-end, back-end, and full stack course. And during the whole program, you will be completing three different and fully functional portfolio project na pwede mong ipakita sa future employers. Some of the topics na included dito is JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and yung sobrang in-demand and popular na tech stack, which is yung Marine stack, MongoDB, Express.js, React.js, Node.js, and also yung ibang tools or product integration, like yung Chrome Dev Tools, Bootstrap, and sobrang dami pa. Key concept on full stack web development, including responsive web design, rapid prototyping, and product deployments. Plus, meron pa silang 180 hours na supplementary learning sa mga short courses program like PHP Package, Java Package, and Python Package, which is sobrang malaking tulong as a full stack developer. And another great thing about Zuit is hindi sila na mamili ng students. Basta you have a keen interest, willingness to learn, and may ipasa mo yung screening process regardless kung anong course mo, IT man yan, or non-IT, or even hindi ka degree holder, you are more than welcome. The application process is so simple, registration and booking, suitability test, online live consultation, live consultation one-on-one -on -one session, then begin with come. And the best part para sa akin is meron silang tinatawag na study now pay later which is ang kailangan mo lang bayaran is the down payment then after ng training saka mo i-continue yung payment which is sobrang helpful and worth it kasi meron pa silang career services like resume writing, interview coaching, and career roadmap. After noon, you will land your first job. They also offer installment plan and upfront payment. For more details, visit zuit.co or email them sa helpdesk at zuit.co link in the description. Once again, thank you Zuit for sponsoring this video. This is my portfolio now, pero may nauna pa dito and sobrang terrible nila, kaya create portfolio as soon as possible. And in my personal experience, dito halos lahat nag-base yung mga HR na nakausap ko sa mga companies kasi they are really looking for projects. That is, I think, the best proof na pwede mong pakita sa kanila. So guys, if you can afford to take Zwit program, I highly encourage you to take it kasi it is very worth it, I promise. Resume. I've talked about this in my couple of videos, pero gusto ko lang tandaan nyo yung important principle dito is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. A resume doesn't have to be complicated and bombarded by nonsense information. Again, this resume is also my fourth yata or fifth resume. So, are you getting the pattern? Ibig sabihin, sobrang dami nating times na mag-fail talaga, lalo na kung self-taught lang tayo and only kung agad ko lang talagang nalaman na yung Zwit will also guide you sa mga situation na ganito. I would consider it. Kasi after naman nun, sobrang laki na ng chance na magkaroon ako ng work. If you're like me na self-taught then I will not sugarcoat it. Mahirap talaga. But I don't want to discourage you guys kasi I've been there and nalagpasan ko yun pero sobrang tagal nga lang. There are some sites na for me the best sites to look for a job. Indeed, LinkedIn. Make sure to also create a good profile and make connections. And monster. Madami pang ibang sites but personally, ito yung pinaka gusto ko. Now, hindi pa dito natatapos yung process kasi madaming beses akong hindi natanggap and madaming beses ko ding inulit-ulit yung mga steps. And make sure na every re-application, i-improve tayo kasi every rejection, God is sending us a message and nasa sa atin yun para investigate yung message na yun and mag-learn and mag-take action. Naging curious kayo kung anong itsura ng typical day ng isang full-stack developer, check na itong video natin.